which coins can be breaking out this week and which old coins should you be looking to buy welcome back guys and today I've got a very special video I'll be talking about some of the old coins that can be breaking out and be making you some good money so guys I'll start off with Bitcoin if you follow me guys we've been making some really good trades guys I've been talking about Litecoin link holo chain uh, ages before people have been buying and we've th those three trades have been really profitable so if you guys don't follow me guys make sure you subscribe to my channel guys it's all free content all I ask from you guys is some subscribe the turning on the notification button and likes so guys without further ado let's get into the video so Bitcoin guys it's very very choppy range guys fake breakouts it's not favorable favorable to trade at all it's not looking great uh, at all to trade so I'll probably stay away from uh, taking any positions in Bitcoin you can be I mean I, I was gonna say you can be scalping but it's really it's not even um, that favorable to scalp either the the market condition is not good at all there's fake outs it's moving up and down so i'm gonna stay away from kind of trading bitcoin uh, i am in a long uh, ethereum position and i'm not just saying that because the price has gone up you can go check back my tweets on the 12th uh, that was five days ago i'm not saying all my trades win guys Um, i make a lot of mistakes i'm still learning but if you look at my um ethereum trade guys i said bitcoin is trying hard to break out but ethereum is looking a lot better so i'm long ethereum and then um, yeah litecoin was another coin that i was really uh, hoping for it to do well but you know it broke the lower highs so f give me a follow on twitter guys i, I I try to post my trades but if you've been watching my previous video you know all about what I'm trading this channel guys I don't just say this coin can go up that coin can go down I try to be very honest with you and share with you my honest thoughts guys so this channel is different and um, I'm not saying I win all my trades I'm very transparent and I'm not selling any courses or trying to charge you a lot of money so guys let's carry on with the video so ethereum broke out of this range I explained to you why I got into this trade and I'm still happy with it I'd ha I have taken some ex I have exited some of the p positions in profit because obviously um, Bitcoin is still down and choppy and if Bitcoin crashes it can affect ethereum but I'm bullish on ethereum if you compare ethereum chart to the Let's, where's my Ethereum and Bitcoin chart? If you compare to the Ethereum and Bitcoin chart, I was worried here, so I ex exited some here, but now it's carrying on, so I'm gonna um, keep holding. Um, next resistance um, that you can be looking out for. Something that I do is look for the 236 range. So if you look at the, it, 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 it stopped before at the 236 range. So 236 range could be a resistance next. So we can keep an eye out for that level. Basically this previous high and the next 236 level could be resistance for Bitcoin. So, but it's above the two, a daily 200 moving average. It is a big deal guys. And if it can stay above it, I'll be, I'll be holding my Ethereum position it might be a there might be a pullback so I'll be looking to buy pullbacks so you can use an indicator like this is a really good uh, st I mean I only use RSI and price action and moving averages but stochastic and maybe I'll make a video on it this is a, a indicator that I also tend to use sometimes so Ethereum is looking good XRP is not looking great guys I won't be um, looking to trade this it's, it's quite bearish this is quite annoying on um, on on uh, trading view so XRP I'm not really looking to trade I will make another video on XRP guys because um, the, the main news this this um, this week has been JPM coin I made a video explaining in detail about JP Morgan coin and it might not be so bullish for XRP so let's see how it, play, it plans out but maybe it can break out you know if you look at the trade I took last year that was really profitable it can be again <coughs> two really beautiful trades on, on XRP so you can be doing something similar but I'm not too hopeful for XRP and I'll buy the next one I don't usually buy the first one if I don't like the don't like the look of it so let's try and get through it guys I've got a list that I'm taking I'm gonna take you through so you can go back and click on the exact time to see which coin I'll talk about so BTT is a very popular coin so let's have a quick look at BTT guys so I mean I was gonna make a video of pump and dump and unless it breaks down below 
uh, this level I can't really make that video so if it if it holds this level potentially BTT is not a pump and dump but I'm still expect I mean we all knew it was gonna dump because when something goes up that much that quick it always dumps but potentially it's coming to a decent level guys and um, there could be another bounce around around here I'm not looking to play it but there can be another bounce uh, around that level and if it does great if not it can potentially break and um, come back to these levels so I'm not really looking to trade BitTorrent uh, at the moment that's my thoughts on BitTorrent um, what's the next coin guys KMD I took a trade on KMD guys I tweeted about this as well um, when did I tweet about KMD I think I, tra I traded it yesterday I bought my first KMD so eight hours ago I tweeted about KMD guys let's have a look how KMD is doing I mean if you bought eight hours ago one two three four five six seven eight yeah I mean I think I took took the trade uh, as, as soon as it was breaking that level I think I took it here uh, the KMD trade because you can see them the the resistance at that level I've drawn that line it tried to break above it and it couldn't and it broke down now it pulled back to my moving averages nice stochastic uh, crossover and bam a big massive volume trade and um, you could have gone into shorter time frames and took this trade as well if you wanted to the the pullback if you missed that initial pump but that was a really really nice trade that was that is like one of my uh, that is my strategy I'm giving my strategy away in a way but this is my strategy a uh, nice little pullback to the moving averages and yeah but nice really, really nice trade breaking up breaking above the structure really nice trade so I am long on KMD and it's still looking good if I mean if you if you've not bought it maybe you could move this here there will definitely be um another pump I think in KMD at least one more pump it's coming to the 382 level yeah maybe it can it can bounce from here we'll have to have a look guys uh, but yeah KMD is looking decent around this level so when you know the adverts I was thinking about creating I've got my own personal trading view and then I've created another free one to share uh, with you guys maybe I'll pay for this my second trading view account as well I don't really want to share my um, original um, original um, charts because you know what happened to Philicone and other uh, traders that post all their um, original accounts so I want to be careful Right, so AD, ADA is not looking great. Someone suggested me that ADA could break out, but I mean, I'm not really looking to trade ADA. But the only reason I'm sharing this chart is the head and shoulders pattern. If it breaks above the daily moving average, or you could have bought that resistance up. I know someone uh, who, who bought a lot on and this uh, when it kind of broke above this break above this trend line he, he's bought quite a lot of ADA and he's very bullish about it because it just come off the lows and he he thinks that ADA is is up for a massive run and um, the reason I was looking at it was the head and shoulders pattern so it's probably a coin to look out for if it breaks above the daily 200 moving average guys and um, you could be looking to buy ADA so yeah keep an eye out for ADA uh, just a quick update on ADA let's have a look at the next one link link guys I, I tweeted about link again link if you followed me guys I've been talking about link from three weeks ago and the main reason I was talking about link I've got it you know some of the coins I've got it on my watch list because um, I trade them so much and I try to keep an eye out for it so link guys the reason we were buying it was when it broke above this level and I bought it um, sorry when it broke above this level that's the level I got in at and then I've sold a lot of it here a lot of it there I'm still in a very small position until it breaks below it convincingly I'm still going to be in a small position because when a coin pumps usually you get a second pump so if you look at TRX, BTT or Holochain they've always had one massive pump and then another pump so could we be seeing that pump now um, potentially guys but unless it breaks above that the resistance is not as bullish but the moving averages are coming together it's above the daily 50 moving average daily 200 moving average so it is a lot more bullish um, but unless it break if you're not in this trade if it's not breaking above it it's not a trade that you should be looking at so but do keep an eye out for uh, link guys arc 
let's have a look at ARK. ARK is a coin. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not giving you trading ideas. But again, ARK was a really good coin to trade. And I will definitely, definitely be keeping an eye out for ARK. Because there could be another potential entry. I missed this trade. I didn't really get into this trade. Um, so I'm looking to buy back. But ARK just went crazy, guys. So if you if you were if you are buying this coin, guys, you should be you should be really happy. But ARK just went absolutely crazy. But let's see how far ARK can go. But I've, ARK, I've just missed ARK completely. I've not really looked at it. Maybe I'll make a video on how I scan coins to look to. Uh, coins that I can buy just comment below guys like like this uh, channel and I'd, I'll try and help you out if you have any questions about my strategy guys do email me I've had my first student um, I don't want to call it a student we work together to trade and um, yeah he emailed me I usually do a free 30 minute Skype call I try to explain to um, people what I do I've had a couple um, free, free Skype calls and I've, my first student I don't like calling student but we worked together and it was really um, uh, productive I found uh, hopefully he found it productive as well and we'll, we've got another session planned so yeah that was really interesting that's why I've been quite busy but I have replied to some of the emails that I haven't uh, that I missed so if you have any questions guys I reply to all my emails it might take me a couple of days but I'll reply to all my emails for free and I'll try and help you out with some goodies as well so yeah definitely email me if you have any questions or if you have any uh, questions about uh, an old coin let me know and I'll try to cover and help for you so arc keep, do keep an eye out for arc um, you can also you know I'm a massive Fibonacci fan so keep an eye out for the Fibonacci level as well I'll draw it from here yeah 618 level maybe the 786 you could probably start buying it around here again this is not financial advice guys please do your own research uh, you win some you lose some uh, trading is a risky business so uh, please do your own research but arc is a coin that um that i like um storage is a coin that i did take a trade on um, but i got stopped out so i wasn't really happy with it um so it, it broke out massively as you can see storage it broke up massively guys and I tried to buy the pullback and it just kept going down so yeah I've been stopped out on this trade but I'll keep an eye out for it because I do think we will see another pump in storage so I'm gonna keep an eye out for storage uh, potentially maybe a decent buying opportunity now there's that uh, level as well so storage could be going up this this is this could be potential resistance so if storage stays above it and starts to turn around because when it does this it's not really I mean not kind of FOMO'd in because when a coin just goes like this I don't like trading these coins but it can be profitable you know the previous arc um, I talked about arc and Komodo sometimes it's profitable sometimes it's not um, but yeah you, you, you have to risk to make money you can't just make money but if, yeah, if it breaks above it I could look to maybe enter at this level it's not a bad level to buy at so keep an eye out for those two coins guys storage and arc now let's have a look at bat this video is going quite long but i hope you're getting some value out of it guys i'm um, these are all free I would really like to help you out trading changed my life I'd love to help uh, even one or two person if someone takes value out of this I will be really happy so that was a nice little trade I took um, that was a really nice little trade I think that was the coinbase pump again the thing that I said in crypto so this pump is difficult to catch unless I'm trading full time I, I, I can't just trade all day long crypto I do other stuff I trade Forex and um, I've got other commitments but if I was trading unless you trade all the time it's difficult to catch that initial pump so what I do is I, I try to catch the next pump if you go on the hourly I'm giving away free strategy guys Um I try to catch the second pump and again that that pump if you that pump about you know eight nine ten five percent is nothing to laugh at that's a really really good trade so here guys again I talk about the my uptrend and uh, downtrend something standard that you need to learn so, you know it made a higher high potentially it made a higher low it definitely made a higher low now it's trying to make a higher high if it can make a higher high it will be a trend change but when it makes a higher low it usually forms like an equilibrium if you study charts so 
potentially it can form that and then move higher i don't think it will just break into higher highs but if you look at this four hour chart this was a definitely couple of definite opportunities so there's like a potential double bottom here guys tight consolidation breakout here so there's a couple of opportunities that you could have taken in bat it's not a trade i've uh, i've taken but it's something that you could look at vtc guys let's have a look at vertcoin this is one of my og coins guys this coin i've i've still got bags of you know i always tell everyone do not hodl but this coin i have hodled since 2017 2016 guys this is a coin that i i own bags of and i just like i think i bought um this one of my first old coins i bought i think i bought it around here and um yeah i just hodled it um I hodled it to the top and hodled it to the bottom and when it dropped so low i didn't even sell it so i, I still own some but it's good to see it finally seeing a massive pump after god knows the first pump it's had in over a year so yeah it's good to see it let's see how it keeps going i've not really traded it um but it was like i said massive pump pull back another massive pump in a way it's a daily trend change but it's so beaten up it's down like 99 percent or something i think let's have a look how much it's down you know it's down like 99 percent so it's a crazy coin guys but nah um it's a coin that i am keeping and looking at uh, keeping an eye out for maybe i'll sell some you know so above the three, two, three, six. Maybe I'll put my stop loss here. Like half of it, I'll sell half of it here, maybe. Because it shouldn't. If it wants to go up, go back higher, um, it shouldn't really break below this two, three, six, and there's resistance as well. So this is definitely uh, it should shouldn't really go below it. Yeah, it shouldn't shouldn't really go below the two, three, six. There's a weekly fifty moving average as well. Right, last coin guys, Loon. I've given you different ideas for how I trade, so hopefully you're getting something out of this trade. So Loon is a coin that, you know, people say, oh, you're just talking about coins that break out. But those are easier to talk. I mean, if you, I was thinking about, a few people suggested about a Facebook group, a free Facebook group where we can all chat. I was thinking about opening it because you guys can help me out as well. If someone's got more time, they can be looking at charts more than me and tell me like you know this coin's breaking out that coin's breaking out but yeah loon are, ca are kind of like the look of loon um, it, it's it's had that pump that i always talk about um so there could be another one potentially so i have bought some i am long on loon um so we'll see how it goes i think i'm break even or just above it now so it's not it's not great because I, I tried to buy this one um in the four hourly i'll show you so it's not really made many profits so i bought this one guys and it, yeah, it went down it missed my stop loss then it's had a massive pump up so i mean if it breaks below i'll show, I'll, I'll take i'll probably sell half of my loon soon So those are some of the coins guys I'm just sharing with you ideas to look out for so this week let's have a, another uh, I'll, I'll try and make daily videos especially today tomorrow and Wednesday I'm, I'm, I've got some free time so I'll be making daily videos maybe not technical analysis I'll make some market commentary or some fundamental news and um, JP Morgan and Ripple XRP maybe I'll make an XRP video or BTT pump and dump video and um, yeah see see how it goes guys so I hope you guys enjoyed that video if you have enjoyed it guys um, again I don't sell courses so all I all I want from you guys is uh, that smashing that like button subscribing to my channel and turning on the notification button if i help one person through my videos i will be a happy man so thank you very much guys i hope you've enjoyed it so smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button also guys if you want to win 250 dollars worth of xrp in my next giveaway make sure you subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your xrp address below so thank you very much for watching this video guys i hope you've enjoyed it smash that like button subscribe to my channel also if you have any questions guys like i said my email address is below cryptoraco at hotmail.com you can email me your questions and i'll try and get back to you if you have any questions about my trading or any questions about my strategy which old coins i'm looking at or just some advice or mentoring questions just email me guys um, and we can go from there so thank you very much guys smash that like button subscribe to my channel comment below to which old coin you're looking to buy or you're hodling or comment below if you want me to look at a specific coin in my next video or email me a coin that you want me to look at and i'll have a look at it for you so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and i'll see you guys soon with another great video video. Thank you very much.